Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this is for getting everything done in the adventures of Bertram Fiddle 2, a bleaker predicament or as the French like to say, le predicament for some reason. Anyway, this excellent and hilarious sequel was again brought to you by Rampus Animation and Publishers Chorus Worldwide Games. It's a nice price too at just £7.19. So this adventure sees our hero, Nigel Thornbury. Oops, sorry, sorry, no, nope, wrong thing, ignore that. Um, Bertram Fiddle, of course. <laughs> but we see Birdie continuing his pursuit of Jeff the Murderer. More twists, more turns, but the same classic posh British wit we all now know and love. Now achievements are basically more or less the same from the first game, only this time we don't have to do those bloody running sections, which is nice. Not many missables, except this time we need to talk to every single character in the game, so that's important to follow along exactly as I do. Drink tea from different locations. There's only five, but we need to drink twice for it to count for some reason. You need to do that. I'll explain when we get to the first one. And once again, kicking pigeons away in most scenes. Otherwise, it's another fun, funny, epic adventure, and we'll take around two to three hours to complete. So... With that being said then, let us begin. Of course, you can have a look at the options and do all that, whatever you want to do, but we are simply just beginning the game. And once again, just to let you know, of course, I do skip through most of the dialogue. Um, it's always fun, always definitely worth just listening to it because it is hilarious, as you should know. Um, but Bertram is working. He works selling soap, which is... I mean, it's pretty different than uh, <laughs> than what he was doing in the first game. But that's okay. We all need to make a quick buck or two uh, now and again, don't we? Even with your worm nose. So this is kind of like a little bit of a tutorial. But we're going to be coming up to one of the first miss missable achievements very, very quickly. So, of course, like I said, I'm basically skipping all dialogue. But it's completely up to you if you want to skip along with me. Or obviously, you know, pause the video and... Watch the dialogue yourself, because it is damn hilarious. So, luckily we've been found right here that we need to do some investigating. So this is where we're going to be getting our first tea out of five, the pot, right in the bottom right hand corner there. Now again, apparently selling soap is thirsty work, which it must be. But, very, very importantly, you have to um, click on it twice. You can have a look right here. Basically, I'll do this all the time. And as you can see, it hasn't gone up. So, for some reason, I don't know if you were meant to do it or if it was just a sort of kind of glitch in the game or whatever. But, if you click on it twice, then have a look at the achievement tracker, then it should work. Um, I tried clicking on mo uh, most of it once, had a look, and it just was not there. So, always worth ch uh, clicking it twice. But there we go. Pick up the item on the floor there. Now head to your little workstation. Now what we need to do is just basically go through the entire list and call absolutely everyone. Now you see the list on the right-hand side with sort of A1 and C2. So all you've got to do then is obviously just link up, put the item in there... <laughs> <laughs> Put the fuse in. Sorry, there we go. So it's all you've got to do then is just follow the page and then click down when you're finished to um, go down. Obviously on the list, and go to the next person. So it's th there's nothing. There was generally nothing overly difficult about this at all. You just go down the list and then copy exactly it is. So it's a it, from one to four, A, B, C, or D. It is very easy. Um, I do end up, I already knew what I was doing, so I actually missed the sort of first three or four off the list, but just again, follow along exactly as I do, or go down on the list yourself, and really you shouldn't have too much of a problem. Margaret? Uh, no. 
I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer just for you. Hello, who is this? Hello, sir. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer just for you. Really? Just for me? How delightful. Yes, yes it is. For a limited period only, we are off... A free flannel, you say? Oh, wonderful. I'll take one, please. Really? Mr. Quindry speaking. Hello. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company. And? Whatever. It's unique for... I don't have time. Guy Hardwood speaking. What do you want? Come on, come on, spit it out. I ain't got all day. I'm an exceptionally imp- Greetings! I- Fiddle! Uh, no, no, no- Yes? Greetings! I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer. Go on. Would you- Whatever. Well, it- does it? Um... Oh, well then. I'll take five, no, six packets right away. Mr. Grotto's residence. Would you be interested in a bar of our new and improved, even more adequate soap? Soap? No. Not now, not never. Soap back! Yes? Would you? No. Didn't think so. Would you interest? How rude! Hello, Mr. Spongewell speaking. Would you be interested in a bar of our new, even more adequate soap? Doctor. Greetings, madam. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company. Would you like to buy some soap? What flavor? I love... Sorry, madam. Oh, that is a... Sh well, this soap... Uh... It does? Then I'll buy a packet. Thank you. Jolly good. <clears throat> At last, my work is done. I need Mr. Dullsworth to stamp my work. Hello? Hello? Right, so there we go then, that should be golden nuggets for that one. Again, you can't really miss the achievement. If you go down the list, just make sure everybody's got a green tick next to their name uh, if the achievement hasn't popped for you. Otherwise, we will just go upstairs and go into our boss's office, which... Mr. Dullsworth. <laughs> Mr. Dullsworth. <laughs> Little names are just so Mr. funny. So, yeah, there is no Dullsworth in here. Uh, so what we're going to do is just take a look in his closet I first. I wonder if he's coming out the closet. These look like uh, clothes. 
No, it is a secret exit though, so he's not coming out of the closet, but he's going further in the closet. <laughs> but there is a safe behind this painting right here. Um, I already know the code, so it's absolutely fine. You're supposed to obviously have a little look around the room and everything until you can find it. Um, I do have a little look on the desk and have a li uh, little look at the book if you want, but... Uh, have a read. I, I, I didn't even bother. I just sort of... <laughs> I just cracked on with it, but we want to carry on as quickly as possible. So in the safe, the code is 7734. So that's 7734. Sadly, there is no usual boss stash of drugs, because I'm not being funny, but if you're a boss, you've got a stash of drugs in a safe, rather than ink. Just saying. But <laughs> you need to take both the ink and the letter anyway. And then just go ahead and use the ink on the machine on the right-hand side, and then go ahead and grab your, uh, your clocking out punching out clocking out card which is definitely old-fashioned is it not but with that you can I don't know why he's hiding ink in a safe that still baffles me unless it's you know cocaine ink or something coke ink is that a thing druggies let me know <laughs> let me know down below if you're not too busy getting high obviously uh, go ahead outside talk to the security guard first and then show him your clocking card This job is merely to pay the Good for you, Tibbs. No I'm afraid you can't. A pleasant and uneventful evening to you, Miss. Now remember, of course, every new scene that we appear, we need to kick all the pigeons away and we need to talk to every single character throughout the whole game. So any new scene that you enter, always remember to just talk to everyone first before we move on uh, with the sort of main story. And of course, kick pigeons in the head. Don't do it in real life though, you could get arrested and, you know, all the hippies will be pissed off at you and stuff. Another convict escaped, lad. An escape? Indeed. Was, was the convict dangerous? That's not for me to say, sir. I must. F the Dalsworth estate is a... Over Evelina! How are you? I am um, not exact. Not at all, Bertram. I'd really hoped that. But it's been so quiet. I hope something news will. I'm almost tempted to murder someone. I'm a uh, current. Dalsworth, eh? Here's a name of not. I know a few things about. Really, madam? Do you. Ooh, la -dee da Oh, no. She is. No, thank you, madam. I'm not. Suit yourself. May I help you? No one touches my orgies car. Oscar! What are you I'm protesting, my dear friend, Walter, until Walter is set free. Well, bye. Me too, Bertram. Now, I did think the creepy old lady in the corner was uh, someone you could talk to, but apparently not. So we're going to the left, click on the upper left window right there, and we're going to be shouted at by uh, sexy old honey pie. There she is. She She's only 35, but uh, that, those, that, that bit of drug ink has uh, ruined her life. Don't, stop taking red drug ink. And we've got a tiny little puzzle to do here, so... Get onto the speaker, she's not going to be able to hear you, or hear you, sorry, trying to get my Welshness out there. 
Um, but then just interact with the posters on the left and just basically copy what I do then. We're just sort of trying to spell our name with <laughs> whatever we can. So there we have it then. I am Berg Tram Fig Dull. That's an even better name than Bertram Fiddle, to be honest. I hope somebody has been so obsessed with this game that they have now named their uh, new son Berg Tra Bird Tram Fig Dull. Though he will get bullied in school, I assume, so let's hope they actually haven't done that. But we'll be going straight to the door. This is where we'll be getting our second bit of delicious brewski tinas, as you can see on the left-hand side. So before talking to the old deer, the old spying little tit, uh, yeah, take a couple of sips of tea there. Again, make sure to click on the uh, teacups twice, or the teapot twice for it to count. And obviously before you move on, just double check your achievement tracker to make sure that it actually has. And... Who likes tea bitter? It's got to be a nice medium, bit of milk, no sugar. Uh, that's just nice. Even though I know people are going to say, eh, but you're just drinking hot water. I like it. And it's not bitter. So, as soon as you've got your achievement tracker up, should be up to 40% by now, then you can talk to this good-looking little witchness. What he is doing. I did find this letter in his... Love, what does he want to be... I knew what she was planning, even if my Algernon... I'll be off then. If I Make sure you do. A mother is a boy. Well, thanks for that, chickadee do. Wipey nose, you got a bit of red on it, by the way. Uh, so we're just going to head all the way out to the left where... Dun dun dun, something crazy happens. <laughs> Well, 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 fiddle. I must admit you had me fooled. I never- Sherlock, what are you doing? I just got back and it's luck- But Sherlock- Well, let me see. Let's look at- You're quite mistaken. I saw Jeff- It's a shame there aren't- You, madam, did you- Indeed I did, Mr. Holmes. I heard a scream and looked out my- well, Thank you, nosy old crone. <laughs> Sherlock, look, murderous foot- Take him to jail, Street. Right? But it wasn't me. <laughs> if I had a penny for him, <laughs> take him to jail. <laughs> Looks something doesn't smell quite right, Sherlock. I don't like Watson. You have to believe. I know, Bertram. Send for Gavin. Tell him. Of course. Oh, shush, Watson. Welcome to your new home. Unhand me, you oaf. Don't you know who I am? It's Jeff the Mo- Nonsense! Oh, everyone who comes in here is- Oh my! I've got to get out of here! Well, that's a bit unlucky, isn't it? I, um, Bertram has been thrown in jail. Here I am. By Jeff the Old Murderer. Uh, so we need to find a way to get out before Big Butch on top. Uh, on top of the bunk bed there, has his cheeky little way with us. And that shit looked like it'll hurt if he went to crush Bertram there. So pick up the dinner plate off the floor after knocking the door, go over to the sink. Go ahead, grab the toothbrush and the cracked mirror, the part on top. 
Now, again, we'll be doing just a few things for our frustrated artist friend right here. Grab the pipe as well from underneath the sink before we leave. Well, we're not leaving anywhere for a while. And then make sure to click on the sink again to get this green, yeah. <laughs> green gunk out. Or vivid green gunk, sorry. And then use your glass shard. Uh, again, drag it out, of course. Don't actually click on it. That'll just come up with a description. And then use it to point it sort of towards the... There's a rat on the floor, which my Welsh hunter sign is in the way. Sorry about that. But there is a rat to the left. Point the shard of glass at it. And then you've got a nice bit of red mush to stick in your pocket. Grab the duvet also from the bed. And then what you need to do is, again, use that same duvet that we just picked up and use it on the hanging chains. This looks more like a bondage s and session rather than a jail cell right now. But then again, I've never been inside of a prison cell, so there we go. So don't wake up Big Butch on top, because he's going to have his way with you. And like I said, we ain't going to want that. My name is Walter, and my own... Ooh, it's quite hard. I'll say, sitting in here, unable to... Without my paints, and um, Do not give up hope. Get your positivity is upsetting. Mr. Fidel. Oh, Gavin! Have you come to rescue me? Don't worry, sir. I... If you have anything I can use, throw it... What are you up to? I... I'm watching you, Sonny. No, I'm on high alert. Don't try anything. F I missed afternoon nibbles. Well, hey, now we get to play as Big Gav, our one-eyed sex fiend. Good looking bastard. Anyway, what we need to do then, first with Gav here, basically we need to make this guy drinking his coffee go home. Um, so for that, we need this uh, pot or whatever the hell that is. We... That's basically going to act as a bell. Uh, so let's go into the next scene now. So go towards the left. Again, again with these pigeons. I'm not, I wasn't entirely sure if you had to kick them away every time you see them. Um, I end up not doing that. So I, I'm pretty sure you only have to kick them away in, this, in one scene once for it to count. Anyway, go into the shop on the right hand side. There is a cane on your left right now, which we can grab. And then you can go ahead and talk to the uh, good-looking lady on the right. By the way, I'm just joking, of course, when I say all these women are good-looking. I'm not. I don't have an... Like an old person fetish. Honestly. And hey, why judge me if I did? Hmm? <laughs> anyway. So yeah, again, get rid of the pigeons if you want. But I'm pretty sure you only have to sort of kick them away in the one scene once. And then that should count. But we are going back... Up the alleyway, <clears throat> excuse me, where we just got the cane. So go ahead, get grab that and then use it on the big pot that we hung up a little bit earlier on. Actually make sure to do it. I, for some reason, accidentally take it off. So let's not do that. That'll always be handy. So if you do that, just put it, <laughs> put it back on and then use the cane. And then the guy drinking his coffee, he's not even doing any work. Why don't you just go home if you're not doing any work? Goddamn lazy butthole. Well, goddamn finally eating your sandwich and not doing any work. Now we can finally steal his bag of cement and by the way apologies but just in case you hadn't noticed by now if you click a and then double click a that is what actually uh, makes you run uh, so you know again that saves a couple of seconds now again but we are going to the shop to the left now and hey well if it isn't bertram fiddles really annoying wife with that stupid eyeball dog the bonkai the bonkai legend of england we'll call that dog or just bonkai for short uh, go ahead and talk to the old deer but then towards the left um head towards it and we're gonna pick up this hot cross bun or this current bun or whatever whatever you decide whatever you want to call it 
So we're going to pick up that one now. And for some reason, Gavin's going to use his psychedelic abilities now. We're going to click on the oven to the right of the lady right here. Um... <laughs> the hot of the oven. So yeah, he uses his psychic ability to make that go on and then very quickly We'll use the bag of cement on the bowl while she's turned around and that's going to give us a broken whisk as well So well done Gavin using your uh, Leela from future armor ability. We'll see What's happened to my batter? So, she was a bit pissed off with that, which I would as well, it looks kind of expensive. But we'll be having it for ourselves anyway, we'll be do we'll be helping out Bertram. And why isn't his wife trying to help him get out of prison? Where the hell is she? And by the way, that... It's not a spoiler, that's the only time you see her throughout the game. Which is kind of annoying, you, you kind of think she'd sort of stop being a dick and, you know, help him out. But, but there we go, she's only in it for the money. Gold digger, potentially? Who knows? Anyway, we're just going back to the prison now and we'll be giving the guard a hot cross bun before doing some incredible tossing of things through the window, which without even hitting the bars or anything, these guys should be in the Olympics when they get out of here. Take the cake. Well, I... That is... Can't Fanny is giving it... Really? I've got... Can you just keep an eye out? Ah, he's gone at last. Now I can help Mr. Fidel. Mr. Fidel, if you help... So what we're doing then is tossing beautifully the toothbrush and the uh, pipe underneath the sink earlier on to our friend Gavin. Right, so everything you are going to see me doing right here, it's all for a purpose, <laughs> and it is all for a reason, even if it seems a bit weird. Then again, this whole game is pretty weird in retrospect. So make sure to talk to the gardener first. We couldn't as Bertram earlier. So obviously make sure to get him to get a little bit uh, extra on your talking to all the characters achievement. Then just click on the stone, and Gavin is going to, you know, deadlift and clean and press that beauty to death. Then put a little piece of rock in your pock. It. Bah, I'm a rhymer and I didn't know it. Ah. Wait, no, never mind. I just I messed that one up. Anyway, grab the um, Jack Black looking statue right there. Or the Kyle Gas looking statue. And put it sort of up against the tree. And that'll do lovely. And that's basically so the squirrel can't run away from us. And then go ahead and get the pipe. Which Bertram threw for us from under the sink. And then put it in the tree. Then simply just click on the squirrel, he's going to try and run into the tree and then what that's going to do is uh, he's going to turn accidentally into a paintbrush which is, again is just somehow perfectly works out for us so happy days. So now all we're doing then is running back to the prison and then throwing our new um, paintbrush <laughs> into the prison which I suppose it's better than uh, paying for one. It'll probably end up on that uh, British craft show with Kirsty. What's her name? Oh. 
Gavin. We have a thing in Peru. So we are going to help our beloved friend out here, so all you're going to be doing, you can't get the uh, <laughs> paintbrush on the palette yet, just mix all the uh, the flowers and the green gunk and the red dead rat, and give the palette to the uh, struggling artist right here, he looks very sad, I would be if I'd been bummed by Big Butch on top, to be, to be fair as well mind, I'm surprised he's sitting down. Uh, then give him but the homemade, so fantastically yes. looking oh, squirrel right. paintbrush. And he's just going to paint a lovely, lovely painting of us. Even though there's not much to paint. But you can see a little bit of Big Butch butt crack up top. <laughs> Walter, you look much happier now. I feel fully reinvigorated. Thank you, Bertram. Just a little something my friend Oscar gave me for... Dude, are you goddamn serious? You literally could have just given me the key earlier. <sighs> I suppose it's always nice to help out a fellow inmate with the same nose. Anyway, throw the key to Gavin now. Now, what you'd think that would do is sort of just help us escape prison right now. But it doesn't. Um, so we're just carrying on going to the left. We're not, we're not breaking out of prison the conventional way. We are doing it the most awkward way that we particularly can. So go ahead, give the key to the guy protesting at the bottom. Oh, Walter is all right. I can and now... And that opens up a new little path for us, finally. So remember to just to talk to absolutely everyone that you possibly can in this scene before we carry on with the story. Sometimes it's interesting, and other times it's just hilariously stupid. <laughs> and of course, don't forget to kick all the pigeon square in the buttocks. Smells worse than it. Stop muck. This stop muck. Ice cream. Would you like a? That will be a tuppence. Oh. Then you can't have an ice. What's wrong with you? Ice cream. Would you? That. Oh. That. What? Fish. Fish. Nice pilchards. Careful there. She is, we have a thing in Peru. So I'm pretty sure we are done here for the moment, so go to the left now. And it's gonna open up another nice scene for us again. Just like I've already said, of course, remember to get rid of all the pigeons first. Uh, you don't need to go to the right. I accidentally go to the right here, trying to get that last bloody pigeon. So we don't don't need to go to here yet. So go just back to the left for a minute, and then, like I said, get rid of all the pigeons. Make sure there's none there, and of course, have a look behind the statue as well, because there could always be one hiding, and it might make you miss the achievement, which would be annoying. Then just talk to the guy on the left, and then. Talk to the guy scrubbing the statue before giving him the toothbrush. Remember to always talk to them before you do anything. Otherwise you're screwed and it's bloody annoying to go back all the way through it. Crikey, I can't Shh, I'll be this limp cloth will not... Crikey, shh, this... I have a little brush. Uh, all finished. I'm going for. See your ladder. He's a good job. I have deep pockets. <laughs> See you, ladder. Yeah. So some of the puns in the game will make you put yeah, 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 hands in your head. But <laughs> they're so funny. They crease me. 
Fair play. Top right in in this game. Top right in. So now we're going to talk to the kid. Well, we accidentally went come to this place earlier on, but now we can talk to her. Uh, but and we're just going to play a little game with her, and then we're going to pick up an item that she leaves. And of course, just keep watching out for all the brilliant puns because they they're so silly, but they are hilarious to me. Ah, oh, man, Gavin looks so excited, bless him. Sorry, the girl doesn't even leave anything here, but she does get an ice cream, which we'll slap on her head a little later on. So go into the door, and you'll remember Lord Arthwipe? Yes, he is still as Arthwipey as ever, so we will, again, obviously have to talk to him. And that just adds a little bit more of the achievement for talking to all the characters throughout the game. And then go ahead and go back to the right, where we'll now see the uh, little gingeress eating an ice cream. So we're going to cause a little bit of mischief, we are, as Gavin. So what we need to do first then, grab the rock and then put it over to the fish lady. And she's off her head. She's had some of that red ink. Like a little <laughs> uh, it's always funny to see someone drop ice cream on their head. Even though it's magically gone. Maybe she uses ice cream as shampoo or something. And it's just dissolved into her head. Anyway, grab the cone without the ice cream that is now on her head. She's all sticky on the head now. Did you want to go ahead and take a shower? Stick your head in that manure right there. At least, you know, smell it up a bit. But anyway. We've got all we needed from that. All that mischief and mayhem for a cone. We could literally just ask the guy for a cone. It would have been a lot easier. So now we're back by the statue, but we're going into the double doors now. And you will remember this place from the first game. This is the Adventurer's Club. Remember, we had to obviously click on all the animals in the first game to get the taxidermist achievement in that one. We don't care about that one this time. But again... Make sure to just talk to every single character that you possibly can, once again, before we move on. I had to crawl through a river. I had to use circular... Sherlock's room is being refurbished. He's watching me like an... Well, well. If it isn't old fiddles, I've not seen him for yonkses. Oh, wait. He got a wrist? Shocking. I would never... It's always... Normally. Mr. Fidelis, he not saying... Whatever you say. Professor? Ah. By the way, this isn't the Super Adventures Club from South Park, if there are any South Park fans on who know exactly what I'm talking about. So we need to press the button on the treadmill. We need to press it a couple of times until um, our big brown friend right here decides that it's too much and he ends up falling. And again, we are just causing a whole bunch of mischief because we are Gavin. Get it off! It's gone. Uh. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's the noise. It was the noise from the butler. Dude there, and the fact he's now got his head stuck up a turkey's ass. Awesome. So that that is it that honestly made me chuckle to death the first time I seen that. The noise and the head up the ass. Uh, but we're moving on. Put the ladder by the penis nosed bear right here. <laughs> Sorry. And then put the ice cream cone on top of the unicorn head. Because we'll just be doing a swap, like an Indiana Jones sort of style swap. And I love the fact that the barman hasn't actually told us to get off the bar. I don't think he cares. He's probably in hysterics, as you can see, about the um, butler's head up a turkey's anus. <laughs> Still. Top job. That was hilarious. But now, again, we can move on. We were done in there. As long as you spoke to everyone, that is when we can move on. Now we're heading back towards the prison. We we're going to see our old pal, Birch Bird Tram Figdal.
And when I say we're going to see him, now we're actually going to break him out. So what you need to do then, go into your inventory, mash the two items together, the Broken Whisk and the Unicorn. And apparently, this is enough to break through a supposed thick, tough, dense prison wall. Hey, video games don't have to make sense all the time, right? And the fact there are no other police officers about right now, so we are good. So get in. Get into the prison outside as Bergtram, or Bertram. I can't call him Bertram Fiddle anymore. And then just jump straight into the sewer, and that'll end the chapter. Happy go lucky days for us. Quickly, Gavin, we need to escape. Quick, we'll flush them. So here we go then, chapter 3 is beginning, and the first thing we're going to do is simply just go through the right hand side gate. Gavin, you plank, quick! What's that creaking sound? She's not going to hold. Luckily this rubble broke... Oh, Gavin, who would, would be a fugitive? We've been in some s but hiding in the sewer. Maybe Werther was right. We have a thing in Peru. I'll be doomed to die. Lucky there, Bertram Figdal didn't break his back somehow, but all we need to do is just take this little contraption right here, uh, this little valve, and then use it on the other side of the pipe. <coughs> Excuse me. And then when we do that, just take it off and then use the code uh, next to the gate, 2513. There is a great number of them, sir. Hmm, a code is needed. It appears we've been given a free... So for this next bit then, we have to go through a series of doors to sort of get to the bottom and collect what we need to do. So again, just follow exactly as I do. I kind of try to go as slowly as I can, uh, just so you can follow along. But hopefully it won't be too bad for you guys. Ew, it's all wet and... It won't fit. That's got it. Yes. I'm quite sure I loosened it for you, Gavin. Just on one. I've heard there's been another. It wasn't me. I. It's most peculiar. What do you mean? <laughs> my my. You can't hide down here. Remember, thing. 
Fiddle. I thought you'd been arrested. We've all murdered people, Fiddle. The tr Lord Arthwipe, it was- Ha 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 ha. Whenever- Go and stay with my cousin, Lord Rit. There will be a train leaving from the station soon. Oh, thank you, Lord Arthwipe. I knew you- Ha 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 You need to disguise your- Come into my parlor, said the spy. Try one of those on for size. Oh yes, that's a They're a little Good luck, Fiddle. Don't forget to grab the monkey hand right here and wow well wasn't that a series of events. We've seen the Count still eating animals and stuff and Lord Arthwipe and now we are dressed up as two sexy little hot things with the wife beater stain there on Gavin's apron. So with that series of events done then we can now get out of the house and then go towards the left hand side. And then before we move on, go ahead, use the monkey hand on the big wheel, on the big, uh, it's not a unicycle, is it? It's like the big bike with a big wheel, big bikeness, we'll just call it. But go ahead, use that, and then we can take the uh, smaller wheel just on top of it there, or just on the wheel. So make sure to grab that first. And basically, we are just heading for the train station, but of course, it's never that simple. So go ahead, go up. Get it up. Again, at this point, with the pigeons and everything, you don't have to kick them away. You've shooed them away enough times. So into the shop on the right-hand side, you should remember this guy from the first game with the moustache and Bertram knocked his glorious moustache off. Bruce looks worried. You'll have to wait your turn. May I be of some... Madam, I assure you, you have... How did... I'm a... But after you've spoken to Sir Bruce, make sure to just put the wheel you grabbed on the spindle, and then it's happy days, then we can get out of here. Here you go, mister. You are blocking my... I need to meet my wife. Sorry, sir. I've just got... I can't take it out of my way. My oranges! My love! Uh oh! Ah, come on, man. Not that guy's lovely oranges. You can't do that to a guy in his oranges. But what that does do is open up a new path for us, and now we can go into the Lady Gaga shop. The meat shop. Because <laughs> Lady Gaga wears meat for some reason. Um, so apparently we are a madam, the big worm nose and the um, big ginger penis and the moustache doesn't give it away, which is always good. Um, but talk to the butcher first and we'll be making a new friend. Click on the meat on the bottom right hand corner there. And literally all we need to do is, you can do whatever you want. You can just make up a whole bunch of meat, put a mouth and some ears and some eyes on it, do whatever you literally want to do, and then click the camera in the top right hand corner, and that'll get us another achievement. But this is missable, so make sure to do this before we head out. You can even make it a big giant meat penis if you want, if that's your ting. <laughs> It is a bit of a shame that you can't even carry him around, you know, as like a little mascot or something. Although we would probably start stinking out the joint before long. So probably that, uh, maybe that's not a good idea. But when we get that, on the left here you see this little sausage maker. Click on it once, that'll give us a toasty little sausage. And then have a look at the, uh, <laughs> yeah, donkey bladder. Or whatever the hell that is, a donkey anus sack or... Ball sack, I don't know what it is, but take it anyway, and then just leave the shop, and the butcher is going to do a dirty on us. Douchebag!
Hello? Yes. You can come and collect them any... What a grisly character. Harsh at his mate, that's bloody harsh. So anyway, go up the alley now, we'll deal with him a little later on. Remember to just talk to everyone you possibly can in each scene, of course. Um, otherwise, again, you'll have to go through the game and talk to all the characters, and again, nobody wants that. Nobody wants to do this again. So we are trying to get the pin out of her hat, and she's quite on to us. So we're not that good of a detective where we can't even grab that. Although I suppose there's a difference between detective and thief. So you can't talk to the other two people there, so don't worry about them. Go and talk to the policeman. And then what we'll need to do is um, grab your sausage and stick it to the dog. No matter how wrong that sounds, that's what we got to do. <laughs> You like sausages? Sausage. Pendleton? No, bad dog. Drop that. So while she's struggling with the dog, grab the pin now. So I actually, I think I just got quite lucky with that, to be honest there. Um, but, but yeah, it's supposed to be while she's struggling with the dog, then grab the pin. So there we go. Now we can go into the um, shop, the right-hand side shop. And we've got a little surprise. <laughs> Talk to the guy on the left, of course. He's he's going to be a bit nervous. You need to chill your beans. <laughs> and remember the creepy-ass kids from the first game? The ones that you ended up locking in the cupboard? Ugh. Blech. Creepy ass. Creepy asses. It's that. I'm sorry. Do I know you? He's the man who tricked the man who fed us. We've been undisguised. See? And he's the one who's been. Good, good, darlings. I'm sure. He we should lock him in. Such shrewd children. Oh, you little shits, where'd my clothes go? My disguise! And his impressive manservant. You look flustered. Don't worry, Mr. Fitz. Have you seen Sir Bruce? We arranged to... I do hope he has... He has a frightful... T so then, as an act of good revenge for just getting rid of our disguises, go ahead, grab the needle pin, and then pop the balloon with it. Moo ha ha. I don't care that we're a jerk off to kids this time. This is allowed. But I wouldn't say do it in real life, you know. <laughs> you made the guy shit his pants too. It's always funny. Oh, my giddy good. Now I shall have to start over. Wilfred, Willisant, what? But, but it, it wasn't. wasn't. That's it. It's the naughty and neither of you. We, we will, will remember, remember this. We have a, a very particular set of skills. A nice little Taken reference right there. And... Don't worry about the kids, though. You're never going to see them again, thank God. But pick up the three marbles, then, that are off the floor. We will be needing them, as per usual, for a little bit later on. But I think we're all done with this section now, so we can get on out of here. Remember, don't let the kids get into your nightmares. Even, even though they are completely weird, it's absolutely fine. So go to the right-hand side, and we've got a few bunch of switches and knobs and dials. So we're going to just pick up a little gear cog right here. Again, funny enough, that'll come in handy. And then nip into the door just next to it. Because what we'll be doing is basically fixing up this robot with everything that we've just seen. This guy looks a bit vibrating. I think he's left his vibrating chair on or something then. <laughs> yes. Yes. Is that an automatonic ball? He's a robotic man, Sherva. His mechanism is missing. 
the mechanical innards are all... You won't find such complex... It's not going to work unless you have all the... Will these help? What a swell job! It's alive! As good as you want to take him for a test, that's the most complex p A cyborg sidekick. See, everything you grab always comes in handy. Sadly, there isn't much that we can do with this robot, but we are going to be basically knocking the policeman out of the way. <laughs> so, that's always bloody handy. So, go back up the alleyway right now. Uh, yeah, see, having a um, donkey bladder and three marbles and a gear cog. As long as you've got deep pockets, that'll always, stuff like that will always come in handy. So, click on the robot, of course, to make, to basically get him to have a look at the barrel at the top next to the police officer um he's gonna knock it off and then we can just nip through the gap and then onto the train <laughs> it's not a sir hunt it is a ting oh, i've been caked in officer da molesting police officers quick sir Hall. Isn't it always hilarious to see a police officer covered in brown sticky poop? <laughs> it just is, isn't it? So here we are then, this is chapter 4 now out of 6, and we've got about an hour-ish of gameplay left, so go and talk to the dusty old granny. Excuse me, dusty old lady, when is the fast, does it look like <laughs> Dusty old lady. That was another one that had me crying actually as well. D dusty old lady. Damn, take a shower. But we've got a few things to do in this little village now. And the first thing to do, go have a look at this horse. Inbred, inbred looking horse. Looks a bit weird to be fair. It's a bit slimy. It's all slimy. What a curiously doleful. That there is a swamp pony. Also no, the is at home in the mud. Looks like it is pine. They love frolicking. Good day, madam. Could you tell? You need to cry. But take care. Oh, I'm sure I will. Do when you can. They say. Then try not to lose your way. Ah, Gavin, look at this ruddy. What's wrong with your nose? What's your name, young sir? Little Waxsmith, the Blacks. What is it that you are d playing Kiki Muck? Good day, sir. I'm looking. Wretchedly all, yes. Lord Wretchedly must be. V as long as we keep our. Little Waxsmith, stop. Again, always remember to talk to everyone that you possibly can before moving on with the story. So talk to the three people out here before going inside. And then again, what we'll be doing is talking to everyone that we possibly can. Sometimes you'll have to click on them twice just in case they have different bits of dialogue. I don't think that matters as long as you speak to them once, but it's always worth just doing it anyway. I can't talk now. So I've left you a message. Oh, he has a face like an angry satchel. The name. Ooh, bounty hunting. That's I travel the world. There's something lurking on those moors. Ah, good evening. Not more strangers. Oh, he's getting fed up with you for a time. Hello, sir. I'm Edwin Gray. Beast hunter. Quite a resume. Have you heard of the thing that haunts? No. Well, I... I am used to the finer things in life, and I would take it away. So, talk to this guy enough to grab his cheese off him, and we'll be grabbing a key from the guy on the left-hand side table. So grab the mug off the bar first. 
and then talk to the guy first, and he's basically gonna say, here's my key, grab it. And then what you need to do is quickly, while he's got his key in the air, use the cheese on the key to make a mold of it. So as soon as he do, does that, quickly grab it and put it on the cheese. And now we can make a mold, and basically we'll be using that at the blacksmith shop. <laughs> cheese my key. And watch out for the hilarious puns again. A key. Well, I'll be e damned. Don't look. You got something wrong with you. I'd best bring off. <laughs> Those puns were terrific. Terrific. <laughs> so go into the lavatory on the left hand side, close the window first, and then uh, run the tap to see the message that the mysterious weirdo left for us. One should always wash your hands when you go to the toilet. Ha! Something is written. <gasps> Meet me under the apple. That mysterious... So go outside, the mysterious weirdo has now gone, but we can grab the bucket that he or she has left behind. Um, and I never know, why, why don't they just whisper it in our ear? Meet me somewhere in about 10 minutes. What, what do you have to go through stuff and then look at mirrors and do all that type of crap? I don't get it. Anyway, go to the right of the building anyway, and then head towards the left hand side where you find a surprise visitor. It's not really a surprise visitor, but it's someone that Bertram had a little erectione for. Emelina, what are you doing here? I'm currently investigating some mystery. More pressingly, what? Oh, Emelina, I got. Ah, yes, I did. It wasn't you. It certainly was not. Of course, but I had to ask. It, what was? Nothing. Tell me exactly. Well, the days. You can skip on. Oh, pardon me. Before I had time to react, he ran. Then Sherlock turned up. I suppose I was standing over a dead body with re But it wasn't me and- Hmm, near the Dullsworth is- I'm sure Mrs. Dullsworth would have caught it all on her- We need to prove- Yes, that- Maybe I can hack into her see- Fly, Nathaniel, fly! Hold on one moment. Shouldn't take- Here it comes now. Look, Bertram, photographs of the murdering. And here is your proof, Mr. Fitz. Oh, Emmalina! You should head back to London as and then you can catch that dust and I would love to come with you, but I have some I'll tell you all about it. Mind how you go. There are some and watch out for Lord Wretchedly. So we've now got proof that we didn't do it. Again, I don't know why sh we had to do this. We could have literally just said, let's meet somewhere private. Here are the pictures. Then we can catch the train back and go, it wasn't me. But, and then her clothes disappear as well. It's all crazy in this wretchedly whole city of life. But there we go. It's how it is. And then we move on. So now we've got this plank of wood. Basically, we can go back into the little village now. And it's where we're going to be making the... The uh, the key out of the cheese, the moldy cheese key, molded, moldy. Yeah, you get what I mean anyway. So go left <laughs> towards the blacksmith, put the plank of wood down on the sort of barrel to the left of the kid. Then go ahead, get your mug out, put that on the... Uh, fireplace right there and then of course we'll need to put the molded bit of cheesy key just underneath it then as well so there we go pop go ahead pop that underneath where the mug is and then what we'll need to do is get the kid to actually jump on the it looks like a makeshift seesaw which isn't bad for one plank of wood that we found so there we go if anyone's stuck and they don't want to pay for a seesaw get a plank of wood and a barrel You can plank me later. <laughs> it's still funny. It's hilarious. But what that does do as well. Uh, um, <laughs> apologies for this bit right here. I 
didn't even realise that I'd uh, pressed pressed the guide button there. Um, but what we can do is go ahead, grab the key. I think it should be done right now. Or I think we've got to come back a little bit later on. Um, but we can grab the sort of little windmill thing that has. Yeah. So there it is then. So the key is actually done now. We just have to wait, wait there for a couple of seconds. And then we can just move on by. So go ahead, go to the right, and there is a cave with a hole in it. Click on it, and then some giant big mother mofo is going to pop out. I'll tell you what, Bertram just has this incredible ability to see into the future of what we exactly need. Somehow we've got the perfect key that fits into the guy's um, <laughs> locks right here. Into his whips and chains. Obviously just without the whips. Find the judge. That was a mistake too. But I'm a reformed character now. If you help me out of these, you won't get across the... Ooh, thank you, sir. That is much better. I must look after And now I'm free to murder ya! <laughs> now I'm just kidding. Oh, very funny. I bet you regularly have everyone in stitches. I'm trying to get to Wretchedly Hall, but the way seems quite misleading. You feast your eyes off. All you have to do is follow the path on my tattoo. Be careful though, straight from the path. I got it done in prison. It's make crossing the swamp. Yeah, try not to get rid of your innocence photos because, you know, you kind of be screwed without them, really, wouldn't you? And this is a very nice, very nice of this guy to uh, help us as he eats a frog's head right there. And that very sounds delicious. So of course, make sure you had picked up the shackles, but go to the left, and we'll be doing a little bit of makeshift shackling and bucket together. So put the shackles on the bucket. That will give us a well shackle bucket. And then just put it on the inbred pony, and then this is how we can actually get across the disgusting, dirty river. I've started a chain. Look at it go! So very luckily for us then, the pony went straight into the trap and it got stuck. So click on the horse first, then click on the crow. Make sure to actually click on these things. Then click on the spider web just next to it. Then the flowers at the top. Again, make sure to click actually on it, not around it, otherwise you'll drown. And then you now should be good to go to the right. And this is where we have finally reached the front gate of Wretchedly Hall. Don't worry about the big sheep thing. Demon spawn looking goat or whatever the hell that is. You can now simply just head inside into the warm. And well, if this guy doesn't look dodgy at all, he looks like Lord Arthwipe II. Welcome. Evil grin and stuff like that. Nah, nah, screw this. Or oh, on a conventional thunderstorm as well. Nah. Companion, and I have a feeling he won't be. But where are my manners? Lord Arthwipe has told he has. But I don't know what Lord Arthwipe has told. And now I. Oh really? Indeed. Tomorrow we shall return. Why, of course you shall. Allow me to show you. Feel free to treat you may go with her and he except for the attic. Don't here is your chamber. Do you really trust someone who's hanging a dolphin from the ceiling in the hotel? <laughs> nah, not really, not really. <laughs> here 
There we are, a nice walk. Oh, if you hear any noises, did you hear that? Sleep tight. <laughs> Don't. I am. Ooh, I am sudden. I showed your manservant to the kitchen. He's making tea. Well, I'd best be off. Stay as long as you want. Thank you, your lordship. But it's a lovely place. Gavin, did you clean my jacket? It was not me, sir. The where have they gone? We have a thing in Peru. Something strange is going on. Come on, Gavin. Let's get to the bottom of... So Bertram got quite tired last night, but Gavin's brought us in some tea. So, of course, remember, remember the tea of December. Before we move on, click on the tea twice. Have a, have a cheeky couple of brewskis right here and then... Again, make sure to have a look at the achievement tracker and to make sure that it has gone up. Ha, <laughs> tease me. But that should now be up to 60% if we have a look. Yes, yeah, so 60%. So we've got two uh, left to do and we've only got two chapters in which to do it in. But they will come thick and fast so we can head out now. So now then just head downstairs and go to the left when you're down there for a long conversation with the evil guy who is apparently really nice. That always happens in video games, right? Ah, Lord Wretchedly, what are- Ah, you caught me sending- There's nobody in the attic. That would I'm not sending food to the attic. Excuse me, I have some Professor Scuttleworth won't get all plucked. You've come at a most auspicious only once every two hundred, but I have so much. Like, do their eyebrows really scream happy, go friendly, lucky? I don't think so. So, uh, open up the cupboard above, grab the cork, the obvious one in the middle right there, and then just click on the big empty hole in the wall, and Big Gavin will uh, get us up there. I don't know why Lord Wretchedly would have just left us with this, but hey, worked in our favour. Look, Gavin, I'm dinner. Yes. Hoist. Surprise! It's another dusty old lady up here, who appears to be Lord Wretchedly's mother. Um, and it seems that she's probably off her head after being locked in the attic for years and years and years. So we need to go and find a key in a vase after this. And by the way, don't worry about the pigeons. You obviously, you obviously cannot shoo these ones away, so they don't count towards the achievement. He's always had an, but his quest for. Everyone needs a hobby, but this is far beyond. He found the most peculiar. He stays up all. He's up but everyone. But if he find the key, Mr. Fiddle. If I know Lord Red, he is constantly moving. Things are always. So, of course, trying to escape out of a locked door with no key never usually works, so let's not try that. So always try that first vase 
first and then we can go back upstairs. Now I'm not sure if you can just go straight to the vase or if you actually have to look at these vases first, but it's always worth just doing. So there's one of the landing right here, but we'll be going straight through to the right hand side door next to the dolphin. How that dolphin's still alive, I'll never know. But again, video game log it <laughs> video game logic, you cannot beat it, can you? So the key is in the vase, which is handy again, handy for us. And then just go ahead and grab the bug, that weird looking bug from the right hand side, just right, uh, just right to the vase. Somebody has been eating a lot of oh, no one can hear me. Oh, I've got sticky fingers. What on earth is... So, next things next, let's head down the old rickety wooden stairs, trying not to get squashed by the whale, old Free Willy there, and head into the door on the right, just to the left of the night right there. Remember to talk to this big four-headed looking guy before clicking on the bowl. So click on the guy before clicking on the bowl. Professor Scuttleworth, I presume? What brings you to Wretchedly Hall? Oh, Lord Wretchedly is a compelling host. He invited me to study his fascinating specimens of insects. He's got some truly unique varieties in his collection. It's such a magnificent house, I don't think I could ever leave. I don't recall how long I've been here. This is a remarkable specimen. A bolt cut. It has incredibly strong mandibles. I'm afraid he's rather been spoiling me. But all I need to do is ring this bell and he can't... I just can't stop. With this trifle, he is... This is some suspiciously delicious. The more I eat, the more he... It's almost as if he's... Oh. Oh, lovely plumage. Have you seen Lord Wretchedly? My... Ah, so nice to see... I hope the professor has been... Here you are, professor. More blamant. Make sure you eat it all up. Yes, yes. Eat, eat. It won't be long now. Enjoying the blamon. That's right. <laughs> What's this? Ah, uh, what a dreadfully... Why, now I have goop. All now, whatever I touch will no doubt get sm... How inconvenient. Now, this is where we're going to get the dolphin all riled up and stuff. So at the top of the stairs, get Gavin to pull the rope, which is just on uh, to the left of the flower vase right there. I don't know why Bertram couldn't have done that himself, but that's fine. Uh, we need to get Gavin into some uh, situations ourselves, don't we? So head back downstairs and we're going to see the dolphin looking a bit worse for wear. I suppose he's been in the dry for God knows how long, so... So... <laughs> They do exactly as Bertram says then, so click on Big Gav, yes. then click on the dolphin, and then click upstairs, put him in your bedroom. Oh, this dolphin is a lot lighter than it looks. You are full of hot air sometimes, Gavin. Yes. Of course, Mr. F if he catches us with his prize dolphin, we will have to beat him. your service. Yes. No, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. I can still see it and it's what shall we do with this dolphin? Is it at 
your service. That's got it! So after we're done with these little bits of shenanigans then, now we can actually go upstairs and unlock the door so Lady Wretchedly can, you know, go down and beat the crap out of Lord Wretchedly, the old, the old man. So go into the door on the left and then just to the left of the bed behind this uh, carpet that rug. Tapestry looks rough. Or tapestry, uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, darling. Tapestry, of course. So... Just go ahead, head up, use the key of course, because you can't head up without the key. And then we can just move on from here. Bountiful, beautiful. Well done, Mr. Fiddle. I shall see you down and... We can't stay here any longer yet. We have a saying in Peru. So now with her gone out of the room, we can actually go up into the hole. Don't know why we couldn't have just done that before, but that's okay. We've got to help her out. Got to, got to help an old deer out, haven't you? That's your good deed done for the day, isn't it? So uh, get Gavin then to grab this pipe right here. He'll just smash that off because he's disgustingly massive. He's on the steroids, of course. And then use the cork and plug it into the dolphin. Yeah, this dolphin's life isn't about to get any better. Not with us about, anyway. And apologies about the big bang there. I actually just whacked my hand on my uh, desk, and God, did that hurt. That's why I paused it and screamed, ow, instead. Instead of you listening to me be a little bitch about it. <laughs> so anyway, we're just heading downstairs now. We went back into the kitchen, which is to the left of the stairs, of course. And there are two switches on this oven. The ones that are on the very left hand side and the third one right there. So we need to get them sort of both in the middle. That will do us perfectly. And then we can head out of here. Nothing to get unless you want some ice cream. Which me being a fat shit, I normally would. But go into the left hand side door now. And you see these three little patterns. There's basically a secret door we need to get through. So uh, grab the handkerchief first. Go ahead and uh, take a look at the book and have uh, pick up the pictures and then take a little flick through them. Gasp! Is that a book of the dark secrets life? Apparently it contains eight. It's said that those who read too much... <gasps> My photomographs! At last! Now Then go ahead and click the middle handprint, which is on the left-hand side sort of pedestal right there. Think Bertram, think. Ignore Bertram. Then click the right-hand side uh, hmm. handprint on the pedestal, and then the one just underneath the light. That will actually open up the secret door, even though Bertram's like, oh, I don't know what I'm actually doing. You do. You do. All ginger people are fantastic. And one-eyed people, I suppose, as well. And click on the statue then to finish it off. This is what actually opens up the secret door and head on in. Ooh, <laughs> spooky boy. But from here, what we'll be doing first then is actually dip in our handkerchief in the red... I'm assuming that's blood. Or it just looks like a really, really stinky, bloody... You know, like those uh, really hard, liquidy, bloody poops that you have? Yeah, they're not the best. That's like after eating Chipotle or <laughs> Taco Bell or something. Anyway, dip your handkerchief in the red bloody poop and then head back out to the right. <laughs> so, of course, like many things, there is a reason why we've got a bloody poopy uh, handkerchief. Okay, it's not full of poop, but it is still red. But we do need it for a reason. So we're going to be heading back out to the front right now. Uh, I mean, how is that? How is that a, a bar? That's the worst I've ever heard. Anyway, before we do anything, um, grab the jar and then place it on the frog, the right-hand side frog there. We're going to need him a little bit later on. Again, you're probably thinking, why? But, um, oh, they all come in handy. They all come in handy. So go ahead and just go to the front where the sort of, that sort of barbed bushes. 
bar of the bush, you know what I mean. That bush is right there. Then go ahead, click on Gavin, and then get him to actually pull the bush along. For some reason, it took two or three attempts for him to actually do, as I said, so it might take you a couple of attempts there. Then just use the red handkerchief on the sheep, goat, demon, spawn, Satan thing, and... <laughs> and he is stupid and goes in the brown river that's a poop river so but again that helps us we can now get some of the wool which again you might think is random but it always comes in handy does it not um but we're not going back into the mansion yet we're just going back into the village first go ahead and see the tree at the top we can just go ahead and push that down now instead of going through poop mountain A brittle tree. It looks like it can fall down at any... At your service. So first things first then, grab the sheep's wool and give it to the um, third dusty old lady. I I'm still creasing after he said dusty old lady, so that's all old ladies are to me now. They're just dusty. I'm sorry. No offence caused, of course. <laughs> and apparently she got turned on by the uh, sheep fleece. Whatever floats a boat, kid. Oh, and look at that smile. <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at that smile. But we get a rope in our... Uh, <laughs> for our good deed right there. <laughs> Thank God. Can't take that dusty old lady anymore. And then go ahead and use these sort of scissors or whatever the hell that is on this fan next to the bouncy kid. I can't believe he's still going on that seesaw after all this time. His bloody ass must be hurting by now. It is literally just a plank of wood after all. And then go back to the train station and we can actually just go to the right now where we go through the uh, sort of woody, muddy sort of bits of areas. But then all we have to do then, for this bit, just use your rope on the bike. Again, it might take a few attempts for it to sort of recognise. But he will get it eventually and we will grab the um, chain or the pedals. It's in excellent condition. So here we are then, back at Wretchedly Hall. We'll be going uh, back out to the Dolphin now, which is um, obviously in the attic, sort of past the attic anyway. So we're going to head up, we're going to go up through the hall. <laughs> Again, that can mean two things if you're filthy-minded enough. But the Dolphin is now ballooning, which is just brilliant for us, so he is going to act as a balloon. So at least, instead of just hanging there, at least he's got a purpose for us now. So we've got pedals and we've got a propeller as well. So place the propeller first, or the pedal, I don't think it makes too much of a difference which way you do it. But put the propeller on and Berg, Birdtram Figdal will place that. Then use the pedals, but it'll start raining and storming so then we're going to have to go back inside. That's a damn shame. Mm, there is a stop. This is a particularly power we can't take off in this
Hmm, a struggle has happened here. Professor Scuttleworth, his elasticated undergar... I'll just take these. And again, you're probably thinking, oh, picking up some underpants, are we? Okay, that is just a weird fetish. And, you know, people are into that, I suppose. But uh, not this is all once again for a good cause. So we're going back into the secret room now. And this time we're going all the way to the left to the other side. And we'll see... I don't know what the hell we're going to see. But it makes you want to spew. Artin Satanish Hogoth Kalima Malima Kalimari Om Bom Shivai Om Bom Shivai Om Bom Shivai etc. Yes, yes, it's here. I've finally done it. Not much longer now. That, my good man, is. And I. You are completely out of your mind. There you are, Rochester. Stop that. Marjorina, uh, my flower. Uh, how did you get... Never you mind. Come with me. But, uh, my dear, I, I need to defeat the demon before it... This is most unfair, Marjorina. Only I... So, while Mummy grabs Lord Wretchedly by the ear, which is hilarious, that's a hil an hilarious way to um, be caught and get found out. <laughs> really? Um, but this... Uh, octopus cat with tits... I don't know what the hell it is, but grab Lord Wretchedly's walking stick, demon thing right there, and then all we have to do, this isn't even a boss fight, This nothing really happens. All we got to do is just combine the stick with the underpants, and then what we need to do then is place that on the floor, and then use the frog that will somehow, somehow destroy this cat. Actually, it's going through the mouth, but it's going to explode his head in a beautiful fashion. Somehow I say again. <laughs> this is our toady hope. Use the frog, sir. But any Yes, if I call mm. Yes. Gavin, pull! We did it, Gavin! It's a miracle! If he's a miracle... Help me! Help me! I'm far too intelligent to die like this! We must get... Let us leave, Gavin! Seriously, that is a boss way to finish. That is a beastly way to finish that. And of course, um, same note with the pun, this is our toady hope. Just makes it all better and makes it even more worthwhile, doesn't it? Yes, it does. But that is it for this chapter. Now we can actually go back up to the attic roof and then click on the dolphin and that will get us home and it will also get us to start the last chapter, which is around around 25 or so minutes long. So we are literally not that far from the end now. Uh, but this, uh, chapter 6, is where we will be getting the bulk of our achievements. Or the rest of them, anyway. And now, for a triumphant return! We are back in London. Indeed, Gavin. And now we must clear my name. Well, 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 if it isn't... Now I'm going to arrest you for crashing... Wait just one minute, Sherlock. And secondly, I am... Proof? See, Sherlock, I don't... Oh, I see. Well, but you are still no closer to... It looks like he's set to go down in history. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, Sherlock. Don't make me laugh, fiddle. Why, if Jeff the murderer was standing here, I've spent years perfecting the art of sleuthing. I am... They even write stories. I'm reasonably confident that one day some... In the future, they are probably going to make some kind... I bet no one's going to want to pay to see you and your... I 
wouldn't be. Come on, Watson. I'm bored with these. <sighs> Bertram, find Sherlock's secret informant. He might be rather tricky to find. He's got a face like a. Good luck, Bertram. Watson, hurry up. Coming, Sherlock. So finally we are back, Sherlock admits that he's wrong and we are going to kick all these pigeons away just to get them out of the way, we are in a new place after all, again anyway. So when we do that then just go into the door on the right with the blue door. Do oh god, uh, we've got something happening in the basement, we're going to be getting a missable achievement with the potions a little bit later on. Uh, we are going to be needing to get some magnesium uh, with for Dr. Jekyll, which is hilarious. He's actually turning into Dr. Hyde right now. <laughs> Funny. So grab a current bun, and there is a teapot right next to it. You'll be able to see on your screen, but not on mine because my Welsh hunter sign's in the way, so my bad about that. But again, remember to drink the tea two or three times. Again, check your achievement tracker to make sure that it's gone up to 80%, which when we're done... I mean, the British can drink a cup of tea, I tell you. We are a nation of tea lovers. So there you go then, 80%, which should be good. And then what we'll need to do is just concoct one little potion for now. We'll be coming back for the main achievement a bit later on, so just do exactly as I do here. So obviously it changes colour when the Bunsen burner goes hot. So you'll need to uh, click on that if you want a hot potion or a cold potion. So obviously... Yeah, it, it, it's all self-explanatory, really, but when we come to that achievement a bit later on, obviously just copy exactly the same as I do. But for now, we are going to head out and go into the shop opposite, which is like a Chinese trinket-looking shop. Again, you don't need to worry about the uh, pigeons there. But we are finally getting the T achievement. You can speak to this uh, guy first. Uh, go ahead, mister. Look around. I'll be with you in a minute. I need to get- Oh, is that an only after years of- Nah, it's my lunch. So there we have it then. You click on the T. Click it as many times as you want until the old achievement unlocks. And that is finally done. By the way, I think there was a purple drink, tea drink that we can drink in chapter 3 as well, but- that's not actually part of the achievement, so don't worry about that. So grab this green potion and use it on this lemon tree. Oh Again, you know, it'll all... I don't know why we couldn't have just asked for one from behind the desk or something, but... Um, hey, that'll do. We'll just pick one ourselves. Thank you very much. I think he's pretty grateful. We're, we're, we're nice like that. But we're all done in here. So that is another thing. Crossed off the old bucket list, which you don't have to worry about now. So go up just uh, right of the shop there, and of course talk to everyone that you can here. Um, but this is where I get the pigeon, uh, the pigeon for kick, uh, kicking all the pigeons in the face. Uh, I didn't obviously kick anyone in the face this time, any pigeons, so I'm not sure if you just have to be in the same scene as them or whatever. But anyway, obviously it's always worth just kicking them all anyway. But talk to everyone first. I'm trying to find the oh, wouldn't that be lovely? Uh, what do you want? De <laughs> Super bones. I'm looking for someone who resembles a bulldog. I don't know what you're on. A Can I help you? I'm seeking some snitcher. What is this snitcher? Uh, apparently, like a bull. Ah, oh, I'm afraid I don't. But if I do see this snitch. Gruntle count, it resembles everyone in. Oh my god, so this part is hilarious. So we need to find someone with the uh, face of a bulldog. So grab your lemon and give it to the bulldog after squeezing it through this uh, lemon juicer first. And seriously, the face this had me in stitches the, fir the first time I went through this. So we've got half a lemon now. Now we can grab, uh, give it to the bulldog. <laughs> Just watch, this is brilliant. The writing was fantastic in this game, honestly. <laughs> you 
I mean, fair play. <laughs> Fantastic, honestly. And if you don't laugh at that, I'm sorry that you do not have a sense of humour. But we found who we are looking for anyway. You won't find it's through there, but don't mention my name. Never fear, you're. S So let's go under the bridge and quickly talk to this guy thing. I don't know what this is. Fish monster. It's like a furtive. Good day, sailor. Oh, it's so I just sit here. Ooh, how nice. It was. A stout fellow like. There's something out there. Really? The Thames isn't known for its river monster. I've seen it with. There's no way I'm getting back. I'm just gonna sit. Now we can simply nip to the right, grab the item, the sort of fishing rod, or the fishing um, uh, reel. There we go, I got there eventually. Grab the fishing reel on the ground and then talk to the little kid. Your manner of use, anything that glitters is... So once we are back uh, here then, this time we'll be going over the bridge and we'll be coming to another new area. Again, you don't need to worry about the pigeons this time because you should have already unlocked the achievement then. Uh, so we've got a gorilla then with a clearly bad tooth right there. I, you know, I, I could make a meat eating slash vegan joke, but it's late, I'm tired. So we're just going to say, he's eating too many sweeties. Oh, and that's not good, is it? No, no, no. So what we're going to do then is head to the right. Uh, we'll be speaking to the cameraman first before we head to the right, actually. But there is a clown that we need to speak to as well. No, thank you. I'd rather not. I don't do hugs. Ah, oh, that's harsh. No hugs. Although he kind of looks like um, one of those guys that hides out in the bushes, so maybe not. Um, so, speak to the bearded lady and the um, elephant green Rocky Dennis type looking guy on the right hand side. And the only thing we need to be grabbing then is the sort of mirror which doesn't have a mirror in it the outer edge of the mirror she's going to give us her brooch uh brooch i think it's called yes brooch as well so before we leave grab the brooch and then grab the outer mirror ring because we'll be using that and combining it with the rope Also, before we leave, uh, don't forget to give this guy a current bun, which we picked up from the um, potion shop earlier. That will always do. My favorite. <laughs> My favorite. Yeah, you fat shit. You didn't give us nothing in return, though, do you? Nah. So anyway, while he gives us nothing in return, we can just grab that anyway. Well, I suppose it's a trade. Yes. So there we go. Combine the fishing reel with the uh, thing that you just picked up there and now what we're going to be doing is using that particular item on the gorilla to get his tooth the picture will be taken and a little piece of magnesium will be dropped on the floor beautiful how everything works out for us again bertram yes Oh, look at him now. Say bananas. Oh, excellent. The giant monkey. Well, back to the... 
Oh, kind of, that's a nice smile. Kind of looks like one of those smiles, you know, where you pull an absolute um, beauty. <coughs> beauty, I use that word lightly. Um, on a night out, and then you wake up. By the way, I'm talking about man or woman here, and you wake up and you're like, ah, oh, oh, what did I do? Oh, that's a nice smile. Get out now, please. Bye. I'm just joking. Never be like that. Be in a long-term committed relationship and love life. That is... That's the way to do things, okay? So, now we can <laughs> head back into the potion shop. This is where we will be now getting the achievements. So, there is a list. <clears throat> Excuse me, again. There is a list on the right-hand side of the book there of sort of what potions you need and actually how to make them. So, like I said, you turn the Bunsen burner on uh, and that goes hot, the potion changes colour, and then you can use the little switches on top there to use it. Uh, so just follow exactly as I do. You should only need to press things once, but there is the last potion we need, you'll have to click it twice. So just be very careful and just follow along with exactly as I do. Hopefully I've gone sort of slow enough for you that you can keep up, no problems. So now that it's done then, there's only four potions that we needed. Like I said, hopefully you managed to follow along just fine. But you should have got all four different colour potions. Now, the one to progress the story is giving him the pink potion. So of course we will not do that yet. So make sure to not give him the pink potion. If you want, again, just follow along with the potions that I give him. Um, to see all the hilarious uh, consequences. <laughs> like big hands. But just... Remember to give him all the other three potions first before the pink one. Mix another. I must be careful with this. Can you smell aubergines? I must be careful with this. I... That's better. Everything back to normal. I'm afraid I may have given you... Uh, your head is a little... Oh, how could you be... Oh, you fool! You... No, no, there's no... Yes, yes, I, uh, Dr. Jekyll, at your, Dr. Jek, recently the, sometimes I can barely, could, and I have such imp, I am on the, ver oh, nice, I'll say, imagine that, um, are you sure that's a wise idea, of course, no one will dare say, so there is that achievement then, again, like I said, it can be missable if you give him the pink potion first, which would have been just a mega pain in the ass if you had gone through mixing them all up, all four, just just for them to progress the story and then miss this one out. Remember the head? He keeps... Uh, Dr. Jekyll keeps picking up the head. You remember that we had to carry it around for a long time in the first game? All the little notions from the first one, fantastic. So once again, talk to everyone you can at this bar right here. Figure known only as Jeff by a careful and now have Jeff the murderer, you say. 
Yeah, everybody knows Jeff. There he is, playing cards with Marvo and old Soapy Nuts. Mr. Charles. I don't understand how you've won again. Another game, Mr. Dullsworth? But Marvel, all I've left are the deeds to the soap. You don't want to just let you- Then let's play- Perfect. By the way, if you have been talking to all of the characters throughout the game, sometimes the achievements for some people might actually unlock here in the bar but the achievement for me unlocked as we pick up this little urchin or this little bloody kid right here. So don't panic if you haven't still got it yet like I did. You will actually get the achievement here, providing you have spoken to everyone. So grab the bobby pin or the brooch or whatever that is, put it on the sort of mud pile next to the champagne bottle, and this little kid is going to go ahead and grab it, and we'll be using the machine on the left to go and grab him. Mechanical grabific. Right then, Gavin. How does this thing? Just tweet at the knobs until you grab something, sir. So even though we've already spoken to him before, when we grab him, this is where the achievement for talking to all the characters unlocks for me. So hopefully it would have unlocked for you guys as well, either here or in the bar just a little short while ago. But with that out the way, now we don't have to worry about that anymore. Just um, pull on the machine, that'll sort of grab him, um, pull him over, and then what you need to do is just click on the champagne bottle. And the little kid's going to grab that for us as well. Cheers, little mucker. At least you've done something good with your life. To whoever may find being held captive, if you read this, send assistance. Yours extremely angry. Oh my... So, not a lot left to do now, but go ahead and grab the uh, Gorilla Tooth from earlier on and give it to Fish Face right here. And basically where we're going to end up is, uh, now click on the boat, and basically where we're going to end up is um, our, boss, our boss from the Soap Factory's office, somehow. That guy is dodgier than a sack of dodgy potatoes in a bag of dodgy dodgeness. Seriously, it is late, and... <laughs> I can't think of anything funny to say right now, so that's good. Thankfully, we're coming to the end, so you don't have to hear my ramblings anymore. Um, luckily, we don't have to do anything in Mr. Dullsworth's office, so we can just go outside, go out of the door, and then go to the left. There we go. Soap is good. Well, yeah, you need it to be clean, clearly. Now, go ahead, um, get the champagne bottle. You should have the champagne bottle from the kid in the mud. And then just use it on the shampoo. Again, we're not going to be drinking it. We're not going to be spraying it over everyone, Formula One podium style. We are going to be feeding it to someone. Because we are douchebags like that, huh? Now, go back into Dull's, Dullsworth's office. And then just go back through the coat rack right there, and that is literally it. That's all we need to do with the boat right here. So now you can just click right on the screen, and then you should be golden nuggets. He's got what could he possibly? So when we get back, what we can actually do is just go to the right um, of where Fish Face is to go back to where the kid was. For some reason, I decided to go the long way around under the bridge, and I'm not too sure why. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so apologies, I have no idea why I've done that, but you can just go to the right of this guy as soon as you get off the boat. There's literally no need to go all the way around. Um, 
So yeah, apologies, no idea why I did that. But here we go then, this is all we've got to do. Uh, this is the last thing that we need to do of the game, and then we watch a couple of minute cutscene, and then job is good. So go to the right hand side of this, you're gonna see the uh, cat hypnotizing these two guys, and one guy clucking his head like a chicken. Grab the champagne bottle, give it to the cat, the one with, we should have champagne, uh, shampoo in it. Not champagne, shampoo. And then once that is done, you'll get an achievement for defeating this cat. And then enjoy the cutscene, because that is the end of the game. Yeah, girl, we did it. Aha, extravagant champagne, my favorite. Come closer. Here you go, Marvo. Time for some champagne. Aha! Your power's a weak old cat! Meow! My eyes! I cannot see! It burns! It burns! Oh, it's you! What are you doing here? What happened? Well, I effortlessly defeated freeing you! Oh, thank you, Mr. Fi- Now Joanna and I can be together forever. And as for you, Jeff, now that you are free from Marvo's mu- Will you stop or- What? I was never hypnotized. <laughs> I just like- What can I say? I'm a wrong- <laughs> You- <gasps> Gas! I shall go down in history. We have your corner, Jeff. You have nowhere to run. This is surely the- You've done a good job to get this far. I'm slipperier than a greasy- Ta-ta! Oh, Gavin, is this the end of Jeff the Murderer? Is our adventure over? I guess we will never truly know. Wait, sir. My goodness, will this nightmare never end? Oh, oh, a giant crab! Oh, blimey! No! My spleen! Oh! Oh, no! He's got me cleaning off! Oh! Oh! Hey, my! What a crabby way to go! Got eaten by a giant crab! <laughs> you must be like the third or fourth best adventurer in here now. What are you going to do now you're back in the club? I hadn't really thought of it. I bet you're feeling pretty pleased with yourself, Fiddle, aren't you? Well, I did hunt down London's most elusive serial killer and thwart the sinister plot of a hypno-cat. I'd say that was a pretty good adventure. But that still doesn't make you as distinguished as me. I'm always going to be the most respected detective in Victorian London. What about the wager, Sherlock? What are you talking about, Watson? You said you'd wear a lady's dress and dance the trifling gallop around Lambeth if Bertram could catch Jeff before you. I hardly think being caught by a giant crab counts. That wager is non-binding. Now, now, Holmes! A wager is a wager. Bertram thwarted Jeff the murderer. Admit it, Holmes. Ah, there you are, Bertram. Congratulations on putting an end to Jeff is at last. Is that a woman? But Bertram, I have some terrible news. Something peculiar has started happening by the turnip factory. I have a feeling another adventure is about to be. Blimey. Ah, so then we know who Jeff the Murderer is, and I've got to say I'm slightly disappointed with the ending and how that sort of... It's a funny sort of ending, but yeah, kind of disappointing that is how it ended. And again, kind of disappointed that we didn't get to see more sort of Jeff the Murderer. Um, still, thoroughly enjoyed the game, very fantastic, very funny as well. So well done to everyone involved for writing and producing... Yet another cracking game. Hopefully there will be another adventure coming out, but we will soon see. But that is it for the Adventures of Bertram Fiddle 2. I really do hope you guys enjoyed the guide. I hope you guys enjoyed the game as well. 
Um, you know, I had a blast playing it, so hopefully you did. And we, again, we had a nice few laughs during it. But again, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. If this video did help and you did enjoy it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, of course, check me out on all my socials, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and I'm on Patreon now with all the links provided in the description below. Also, a big, massive shout-out to TimG84 for continuing to support the show on Patreon. I really do appreciate that, and for everyone for all the brilliant messages and everything that I've received. Massive, massive thank you. But again, thank you so much, guys and gals. I shall see you in the next one. Big love.